say anything then to God and turn our life over to Jesus. Because as much as Annalise, some folks don't want to admit this, he did die for those people too. Come on, yeah. Praise Amen. God. I had a woman tell me the other day, she said, Brother Mike, she said, I'm going to tell you, I ain't praying for them people. I said, well, if you don't have love in your heart for them and you can't forgive them of what they've done, God is not going to forgive you of your sin. Come on now, don't oh. shout it down when I'm preaching right now. Amen. If we can't forgive them, praise God, and show mercy to them the way Jesus did to us, praise oh. God, God is not going to forgive us of our sin. Amen. I mean, I'm talking about the God we serve on the cross, amen, to oh. God. He looked down upon the men that stoned him up there. Hallelujah. He said, Father. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Amen, Amen to God. And if Jesus can do that after being nailed to a cross, oh. be like a dog run down, slandered, hallelujah. Oh. If I'm going to serve Jesus, I can do it too. Somebody say I'm going to serve him too. I'm going to serve him too. Hallelujah to God. I'm telling you, that's love in action right there. Hallelujah to God. Well, amen to God. They don't know what happened to me. Well, praise God. Get over it. Come on. Hallelujah to God. Quit whining and complaining about it. Give it over to Jesus and let him take care of it. Amen. Amen. I posted something on Facebook after the, when they got Osama bin Laden, when they, uh, when they got him. I put something on there, praise God, and I got a lot of negative response to it. But what I was trying to address is this. Everybody threw a party when he was killed. Come on. Now, and like I said, I'm not condoning what he did. Amen to God. I'm not condoning one thing what he did. Because he's going to have to answer for that. Yeah. But what bothers me as a Christian is that I hear Christians rejoicing. Hallelujah. Rejoicing in this death. Rejoicing how they did it. And then throwing parties about it. When we should have taken the time and prayed. Because I tell you, this nation we live in today, in the United States of America, is not serving God. Come on. This nation needs to repent and turn back to God. That's Amen. why we're not being blessed today. That's why we're having the problems we're in today. I truly believe this with all my heart. If this nation would fall on its face before God and repent of their sins and quit going a whoring after other gods like the children of Israel did, oh. amen to God, I believe God would bless us again. Amen. I believe we would be a prosperous nation, amen to God. Amen. I believe folks would have jobs again. I believe families would still be together, oh. amen to God. I believe folks would be abused in the welfare system, amen to God, oh. with the amen. people that really needed, amen to God. It's not getting help, but amen to God, you go out there and lay on your back, have five or six kids, and the government will take care of you. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, there's something wrong with this system today. There's something wrong with this nation. We have left God out of the equation. Come on. Amen to God. Somebody amen. say, I don't want to hear preaching like that. Well, it's the truth. Come on. Praise God. It bothers me, amen to God, when folks need help out there, and they can't get it. Yeah. But the same government that rejects them will tell these teenage kids and everything, go have two or three more kids and the, the state will take care of you. Come on. I know that's going to get somebody mad at me, but praise God that's all right. Amen. People today, amen to God, claim they got nervous conditions just to get a check. When people who are really disabled out there need the help and they don't get it. This is a weird, mixed up nation, amen to God, Come because on. we've rejected God. Yeah. Whew, don't know how I got off on that, Lord Jesus. <clears throat> Help me, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Getting back to it, the definition of assassination or to assassinate means to injure or to destroy unexpectedly and treacherously, mm, excuse me, to murder by sudden or secret attack for impersonal reasons. Come on. That sounds like the, the enemy right there wanting to do you in. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says in 2 Timothy 1.7, For God's people, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. When 9-11 happened, it put everybody in fear. Come on. They was afraid that after that that there was going to be, and they did threaten us. They said they were going to do more terrorist attacks. <laughs> they're even threatening us now since Bin Laden was killed that they're going to retaliate against us for that. Yeah. But I tell you, we don't need to listen to that. And that's why I say you don't need to listen to the news that much because the news is just going to lie to you. 
The news is going to give you all the negative that's going on. What news you really need to be listening to is the good news of the King James Version Bible. Amen. Amen. That's the only news really you need to be listening to. I thank God, Brother Billy, for what Smith Wigglesworth said years ago. He would not let nobody come in his home with a newspaper. He said, I don't want that trash in there that glorifies the devil. He says, the only news I need in there is my Bible, amen to God. God's Word, the good news of the Gospel, amen to God. Because that prophet is something, amen to God. The newspapers out there, they're just selling stuff out there to make money. They're all about greed. And the devil loves it. The devil, I believe the devil gets it, praise God, gets all these news uh, stories out there to where it puts people just in terror. Amen to God. Not only with, with the, the terrorist attacks and stuff, but with the sicknesses that's going around, Sister Reese. I mean, I'll tell you, that I've never heard so much glorified about all these new diseases coming out nowadays, getting people all freaked out. And people worry about it. They run to doctors and they just continue on and on, and it's a snowball effect. You can't give in to the devil. You can't listen to his lies because he is the father of all lies. Amen? Glory to God. He tries to attack our peace. Tries to take away our feeling of security in Jesus. An attack on our lifestyle. He tells us we're no good. We're not forgiven. But the Bible says different because, amen to God, if you confess your sins, He is faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Amen. amen. 1 John 1 9. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Glory to God. 1 Peter 5 8 tells you this Be sober, be vigilant. Talking to us, the believers. Come on. Because your adversary, the devil, yeah. as a roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Amen. He's looking for somebody to assassinate tonight. Yeah. Amen to God. And if you give in to him, he'll pull the trigger. Come on. Like I said, he is no respecter of persons. That's the truth. He will tear you up any way he can. Come on. But when he sees the blood, though, glory to God. It's like that death angel in the book of Exodus. When he seen the blood on the doorpost of the home, he had to pass by. Because I still believe a devil cannot do you no harm if you're a blood-bought, born-again child of God. He has to go before the throne to get permission. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. And then when God grants you permission, God knows that we're going to overcome. Praise God. Because He knows how we're grounded in Him. Praise God. Somebody shout somebody. 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 Is this all right? Amen. Amen to God. I really got quiet on me. Amen to God. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. So you've got to understand that He wants to assassinate you in any way. Yeah. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. Listen to this. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. This is God talking. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. Glory. Yeah. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Now, he was speaking to Jeremiah here, praise God, but he's also talking to us too. Amen? Come on. Hallelujah. Now let's break this verse down here for a minute. Back in Jeremiah 1 5. Before, the word there. It's talking about an earlier time. Yeah. It's stating that a time prior to the particular time of birth. Amen to God. Amen. God has a purpose for each and every one of us. He wants us to succeed. Succeed. Amen to God. If I can speak, amen to God. He doesn't want us to be defeated by the devil. The devil's purpose for us is to fail. Amen. Come on. The word formed in there means to mold into a certain shape. Amen. God is the potter and He puts us on the potter's wheel to mold us in His image. Amen to God. He has to mold the cracks that the devil will try to put in us. Because if we're a cracked vessel, we can't be used for God. Amen? Because we're going to fall out. God pours in and we leak out. Amen to God. He wants to fill us up so we can pour out on others. Amen? Amen. But the devil don't want you to pour out on others. He'll do anything he can to take you out. The word womb, the place where something's generated at. Amen? It's birthing something. Hallelujah. Come on. Glory to God. We're being birthed something. A word's being birthed in us tonight. The devil wants to take that out of you. Amen. Glory to God. We need to get pregnant with the word tonight. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Sanctified means to be set apart. When God, amen to God, sanctifies you, praise God, you are set apart and different, praise God, from the things in this world we're supposed to be anyway. Amen. If we're believers, praise God, we are to not be of this world. We may have to be in it, Come on. but we're not to be of it. We're not to be partakers of it. Amen, amen to God. The devil's interest in that is he's to make you fit right in and join in with the world. 
Come on. Hallelujah. Ordained means to invest officially with priestly authority. Glory to God. Amen. God has ordained each and every one of us to do His work. We've got a purpose, praise God. Not everybody may preach behind the pulpit. They may not teach, praise God. But you do have a ministry to go minister to those who are lost and dying. Go take His gospel out to those that need to hear it. The lost and the, and the dying need to hear Jesus die for them at the cross. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So you've got a blessing. You've got an anointing on your life that He gave you. Praise God. But the devil wants to take that and use it for him. Hallelujah. He wants you to take stuff and tear it down. That's why all these different versions of the Bible out here today, they're assassinating people. Come on. You say, well, what do you mean, Brother Mike? Because they're reading this false word and it's leading them astray. Amen. Hallelujah. They're not being led, amen, to God by the Holy Ghost. These people that write these new versions are not. They're being led by the Spirit of Antichrist. Amen. Hallelujah. The word prophet, one that utters and speaks inspired revelations. You don't see too many prophets today because the devil has killed them. Come on. He's killed them off. And if you do see prophets, amen to God, they're for themselves. Yeah. My goodness. Nations refers to people. There is a harvest out there. The harvest is great, but the laborers are few. Yeah. And you know those laborers, amen to God, the few that we do have serving Jesus. Hallelujah. They get tired. They get wore down. They get war weary, amen to God. Because they battle, amen to God. They go out here and do what Jesus has called them to do. Hallelujah. But they can't do it all themselves, amen. Amen. They need help, praise God. We all need one another. But the devil, amen to God, is taking them out left and right. Come on. He wants to take them out so, amen to God, that the church would fail. He doesn't want this church to grow. He doesn't want us to overcome and be Come successful on. in Jesus. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So in the spiritual realm, God has sanctified you, which means He sets you apart and ordains you. He's invested His time in you, praise God, to proclaim the name of Jesus and the message of the cross to the world. Come on. That is your calling. That is your purpose in life. Amen? Amen. Somebody look over at your neighbor and say, My purpose is to take this gospel out. My purpose, purpose is to take, take this gospel, gospel out. out. Amen? Do you believe that? Amen. Hallelujah. Believe it. Because God wants to use you. Amen. No matter what the devil tells you. The devil is a liar. Amen. Hallelujah. He's a spiritual being. Amen to God. Like I said a while ago, he's not... Uh, uh, in, in, a, in a little pitchfork and tail. He's a spiritual being that comes. He likes to work on your mind too. Come on. He likes to deceive you, praise God. He likes to tell you and come at you and attack you up here. I heard one preacher say that the mind is the, is the devil's playground. It's the battlefield up there because if he gets in here, he's going to tear you up. He'll get you thinking all this negative stuff, all this doom and gloom. Hallelujah. A lot of people a few weeks back, remember that preacher that said that the world was coming to an end? I'm all. What was his name? Harold Kipling or something? Camping. Did y'all hear he had a stroke? He had a stroke recently. He said that the world's coming to an end again on October, I think, 21st of this yeah. year. Amen. A false prophet. Amen. And people are investing their time in that. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, when people tell you Jesus is coming back on a certain day, you don't need to believe them. Come on. You need to believe what thus saith the Lord says. Amen. Amen to God. You can look at the signs of the time, praise God, and see that it's coming close, amen to amen. God. Amen. We don't know a day nor hour. Amen. And you're going to have that other bunch, praise God, that said June of 2012 is coming back again because they yeah. made some movie about it. I think it was based off some prophecies of Nostradamus, which he was, amen to God, being influenced by a demonic spirit.